All right, here we go. We have legendary producer Jerry Wonder and the mayor of Newark, New Jersey, Ross Baraka. Welcome to Vlad TV. Thanks for having us. Thanks, man. You know the vibe, Vlad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, before we go any further, um, there's a new song that's out right now that's actually featured, was produced by Jerry, and it features uh, Ross Baraka and Luke James. Yeah, yeah. Okay, tell me about this song. Well, this is, this is a song that uh, Ross and I, we know each other for a long time. Of course, you know, background, straight up from the score. And as before, the mayor is him being a, a musician and, and a, a poet and uh, uh, had a, a spoken words. We was able to just go in the studio one day, call me and say, Jerry, what you doing? I say, yo, come by the studio, came by the studio. And he got so much lyrics, start saying lyrics, then we just go ahead and, and I put a soundtrack behind the lyrics. And um, we end up doing a, a, a spoken word song, song. But around COVID, that song right now means so much to what's going on in the world right now. And that's what this song, so far, it's, it's a long story, but that's, that's the breakdown of what we want. Yeah, man, uh, very... Uh very dope song. I mean, you got Luke James, who's uh, featured in, in The Shy, the newest season. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, he's yeah, one yeah. of the main characters. Yeah. Uh, he, you know, he's he's actually singing. And then, uh, Ross, you're actually doing the spoken word throughout the rest of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, and Luke James was like, uh, I was talking, uh, we was looking, how do we m make it like, not just a typical spoken words, but how do we make a song out of it? And, f and pass the message. And the best person, R&B singer, that close to me, I have so many of them, but I make a call on Luke James. He's like, heard it and say, oh, I'm in. So right away we was there and, you know, we did the video, <laughs> you know, the rough time, but we did it. And, and that's, that's the song. Now, in the song, Ross, you said, we want everything we created and we want it with interest. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, there's a lot, there's a lot, you know, if you read blues people, a book that my father wrote, you know, uh, in the period, black music, just all of the, you know, and so one, you're alluding to music and you're alluding to the culture, but also alluding to, uh, you know, things that we did in terms of the economy and, and, and working in this, in this country to, to help it make where, help it make it what it is today, that we get, that we didn't get any uh, revenue for, no wages, no payment, no, no notoriety. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, the American economy grew off of that. So we, we want that, plus the interest, all of the years that we didn't get it. We want that plus more. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Well, I mean, reparations has been a topic for, you know, decades and decades right now. Sure. I mean, do you expect uh, in our lifetime we'll actually see federal reparations? I, I think that the discussion is, is higher now than it's ever been. I mean, there are bills on state legislators' desks. There are bills on the federal, in a, on a federal side that is being debated and talked about. So, I think that is 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 highly probable that that can happen or some form of it can happen in our lifetime. Absolutely. I mean, how do you envision it really happening? Because there's been talk of cash reparations. There's been land reparations. There's a uh, you know tax. Uh, reparations. Uh, you know, the Native Americans, they had their own kind of thing where they're able to start casinos on their land and so forth. Uh, how would you envision, you know, reparations for Eidos? Well, I, I, would, I would say that, uh, I, first of all, I think that we, we have to figure out what that looks like. And I think all of those things are something that we should imagine, you know, uh, what it looks like uh, in terms of education and in, in terms of, uh, mm. uh, you know, cash payments, in terms of you know, uh, tax credits, like all of those things are, are, should be on the table and we should be discussing it and not uh, saying, oh, we can't figure out what it's gonna look like. Listen, in the middle of the pandemic, we figured out how to give all, of, all Americans and many Americans cash checks. Uh, I think it's possible, it's probable, and, and, and it could take place. I just, we just have to have the will to do it. And uh, to the, the, the federal government can determine who should get it, you know, through social security, through all kinds of things, there's ways to figure the, these, these things out. And I think that we should be talking about that, obviously. And I think helping uh, black Americans in this country uh, and, uh, will, will help the country, period. You know, because the money goes back into the economy, you bring more people into, uh, uh, into the economy. Uh, it, kind of, it, it helps us grow this economy and advance it. 
and, and, and so that's how people should see that. 